Welcome back to the show. We couldn't let the show end without one more round of hot topics. Triana, Shantae, and Joseph, they're all back with me now. And I think Joseph, a.k.a. Jojo, has yeah. some feelings on the assistant segment we just did. Well, I mean, clearly all the producers on this show, we are not your assistants, but <laughs> we do love to help each other, like you said. And we do kind of poke fun at you a lot, but I just want to say, um, yeah, the email is a hard thing for you, but you are a good communicator at the end of the day. Aww. So that's really what matters. And just the email, you know, it's like a byproduct of our job, you know, whatever. I heart so. you. Thank you for saying <laughs> that. Yes, you know, it's true. I need to get better. <laughs> I'm going to take a whole day and just get through. <laughs> it's a lot. We get a lot of email. I'm sorry. Well, it's the worst when the big boss, the biggest <laughs> boss at our TV station is like, did you get that email I sent you? Okay, you're bringing that up, not me. So. <laughs> I know. Well, it's true. I'm very transparent on this show, so I have an alert yeah. for her yes, now there you go. that, you know, if that comes I up. I just text you. If I know I need to get ahead of, hold of you, I just text you. <laughs> I appreciate it. The, the way. So many forms of communication. Communication, friends. Yep, yep. Um, all right, so let's talk about chocolates. We yes. go from bittersweet to sweet. So Godiva, right. they sent us this gold selection of chocolates How recently. Fabulous. Um, and so we wanted to try them. And hey, who's been eating my chocolates? We are. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, mm. I do love a Godiva chocolate. Mm. I could probably tell you which many of these are. But it brought up an idea of, you know, what do you buy for your significant other as a gift? Like, this is a gift that I want. I always want chocolate for every holiday. I want, you know, friends or some yummy chocolate. So that's what I love. That's my love language. What about y'all? What, what's a good gift to get a significant other? Uh, you know, for me, I love gifts that last for a really long time. Mm. And I love fashions. And we have some really cool, you know, vendors and people that are doing businesses. I love to support local fashion, so I'm always up for a really cool t-shirt that has a cool saying, or something that's super unique and exclusive. Like they only made, you know, 20 of these. I'm all for those kind of gifts. That's a they, great you know, idea. go a long way. Mm -hmm. That is a great idea. I love uh, sentimental gifts, and not in the aspect of I'm making something, but I like to listen and react. So if your birthday's coming up, I don't have to think about what to buy you, because maybe three months ago you might have mentioned, oh, you know, I really want to try those uh, chocolates or I really so I, I'm doing a really good job at taking mental notes so that when big moments come up I can just show up with something I know you really want and then it usually always goes off well because I'm like oh how did you know I, mean, I listen I yeah, love that, that that's so what I like art. to do too I need to do that more um well I have to say if someone gave me a gold box of good diamond chocolates I would I would love that um, but mine is more food related also like I, rather than a gift I would rather like go out to a really nice dinner that mm, is okay. like one of my favorite because then you have all the memories you have the delicious food you can take some good food photos it's just you know it's just a nice memory it's a nice yeah. thought too I love go. that y'all those are good thoughts okay <laughs> well speaking of two folks who are going to be well hopefully celebrating an anniversary soon mm. Jen and Ben are finally married. Benifer, or what is it called now? Jenna Ben? Oh. <laughs> I like putting her name first. Jenna Ben. They recently got married in Vegas. And check this out. She said, we did it. Love is beautiful. Love is kind. And it turns out love is patient. 20 years patient. Exactly what we wanted. Last night we flew to Vegas, stood in line for a license with four other couples, all making the same journey to the wedding capital of the world. Behind us, two men held hands and held each other. In front of us, a young couple who made the three-hour drive from Victorville on their daughter's second birthday, all of us wanting the same thing. For the world to recognize us as partners and declare our love to the world through the ancient and nearly universal symbol of marriage. Oh, gosh, she is flawless. I don't think she's aging. You know, I actually saw her post a picture, I think of herself without makeup, and she was like, yeah, you can see it. I mean, makeup does a lot, but I'm like, she looks so really good. Yeah. yeah, she looks great. I mean, you're talking about something that is public love, right? This is something that all of us have kind of, you know, been mm -hmm. a, a part of almost, and like seeing, you know, the different marriages from both of them, you know, them getting together and doing something as simple as being like, look, we just went to Vegas. That's something that I personally think is really cool about them. Mm -hmm. They obviously have the money to throw the swankiest oh, wedding yeah. but the fact that they were just like look we know we love each other we're going straight for it we don't need all the hoopla right now I think that says something about how true this love may be I, yeah. and I love that she never gives up on love 
One thing about yes. J Jennifer Lopez, she is a person who loves love. I think I've seen interviews of her saying that. So I know this is um, her fourth ma marriage, Ben's second, I think. But I just love the fact that she if she doesn't care. She doesn't yeah. care uh, what people think. She's going to do what serves her. So I think that's a yeah. lesson that we all could learn I from. I will say, when you're super wealthy, it's easier to get married a bunch more times <laughs> yes, than most people but who are like, after the second, no, I'm broke now. Yeah. I can't get married again. I think these two, though, they have some America's sweetheart kind of energy. Oh, and I think do. that's why everyone is just so happy for them. Yeah. Speaking of this, I don't know that I would go back in time and, and, and remarry someone I dated many years ago, but it does bring up the idea of love at first sight. I mean, they've been together a long time. So a new survey says in Washington it takes one to two months to fall in love or less than a month. Northwest, well, Never more than a year. New so. Mexico. New Mexico. Yeah. Sorry, New Mexico. <laughs> That's at the Northwest. That's so New Mexico more state, than a yeah. year because apparently they're, you know, a little cynical in New Mexico. It's yeah. okay. Do you all believe in love at first sight? Oh, this is a really interesting topic. It's a it's a tough one. I think sometimes you kind of know because there's that energy right off the bat. You know, somebody gives you that good energy. You're giving that good energy. There's something special about that. Plus, I'm one to be like, look, maybe in another lifetime, we were something, right? Mm. And so there's something sp s significant about that. I don't know. It could go mm. either way there. It's a tough one. I, I I think I believe in love at first sight, but I'm a person, like, I could meet someone and I'll call all of my friends, that's my husband, we are getting married. <laughs> uh, you can't tell me anything. And then three months down the line, I'm over here like, nope. So I think it's real. I don't think I've seen it or experienced it yet, but I'm, I'm like J-Lo, I'm not giving up. Yes, <laughs> there you yeah. go. Or maybe even like friendship at first sight. I remember in college, I saw someone across from me, I was like, I think I'm gonna be friends with them. And they are like one of my best friends still to this day, like whatever, 15 years later. I so. believe in friendship at first yeah. sight. Oh yeah. yeah. I really do, I feel like that's a real thing. I think when it comes to love, maybe potential mating partner at first sight, I think there's a lot of biology in it. Mm, You're like, oh, yeah. I can yeah. mate with this person. But luckily, you don't because, <laughs> you know, it's not always a great thing. Wow. Um, my friends, thank you so much for spending time with us today. And